All right, so we're back with the only game where the happiest ending is the one where there are no survivors. It's Kindergarten 2. No survivors, damn it. I have some goals today. One of my goals, while not really a primary one, is to, as usual, die in as many ways as possible. We also have to complete this mission and then this mission because I'm really curious what the hell this is. It looks like a beholder head. And considering this thing over here was the remote control, I'm still believing that this may be a gas-powered toy of some kind. Since we know that Penny is a robot, I get the feeling that at some point she's probably going to rip off Bugs' head. Actually, I really hope that she rips off Bugs' head. Now, like any child, before you go to school, you must first choose whose head you're going to wear. Ah, USA. All right, tool belt, A plus card, whatever I want. I'm gonna take this remote just because I feel like it might be a good idea. Oh, uh, oh dear, this is embarrassing. Great, is there something wrong with my USA getup? What's wrong, Mrs. Applegate? I seem to have misplaced that really important thing you gave me at orientation. Oh, it's the, uh, the remote control. Oh, shit, I'm gonna die. Great, I should have never brought this thing to school. Now I got Penny the Bloodhound looking for it. I like how I never really thought about this, but now her talk is just so robotic. I'll adjust what I'm looking for. Anytime that contraband has to be smuggled into the school, you always talk to Carla. Is that a Penny remote? How the hell does she know about this? Don't worry about that. Worry about the fact that if you're caught with it, you're a dead man. I'll keep that in mind. Now I want to be caught. I have to be caught with it now. Use the remote? Like right now? Calibrating <laughs> sufficient power from source to establish like, oh shit. This kid has it. Excellent work, Penny. Please bring him inside. Margaret will watch him until the bell rings. Oh, I'm not dead yet? So this is the child. The child who was allowed the special device, but Margaret cannot be trusted with one. Margaret wouldn't use it properly. <laughs> no, but I do have a ladle. I'm happy to use that in place of my darling sister's devices. Use it for what? Why is this even a question? No, my hat will protect me. <laughs> I don't know. I'll bring this pin, I guess. Okay, now I can actually get the firecracker instead of getting my skull split open by a freak with a ladle. In order to get the contraband taken, I'm assuming I either have to talk to the principal or her daughter because it seems like afterward I have to talk to Bat Kid over here. I'm sorry, I couldn't help but notice that you have some contraband on you. I'm afraid I'm going to have to confiscate it. Bingo. She just made a very unstable enemy. She made two very unstable enemies. She took my stuff too. So it's not just because I'm fat and ugly. I love how self-aware this kid is. We need a man on the inside. Are you smart enough to get into the smart class? It just so happens I am. Go make friends with her, great. We can talk about our combined interest in lithium ion batteries, whatever. Oh, there's actually more dialogue here with her. I don't want to get people in trouble. It just sort of happens. Very well, Penny. Me and my Uncle Sam hat will see you there. Penny, you lied to me. You said that you have to sit alone. Carla is literally right there. Hello, Penny. How are you? Do you know that I know what a blonde looks like? When it lies. You came to sit with me. You really do want to be my friend even after I took your stuff. I don't actually know where the stuff goes. It just sort of goes away. <laughs> what does she eat it? How can you not know? It's really strange. Sometimes I just forget things. I black out or something, but I do remember something about my dolly. All right, get the doll, get the stuff, whatever. I just took an assessment on this computer. Thank you for taking your assessment. Please take your pick of cleaning signing <laughs> prizes. Toilet paper or spray bottle? I think I took the spray bottle last time, so I'm taking the toilet paper. Screw you. All right, time to get downstairs. This freaking leg is still bothering me. Oh, great. I think I just found the doll. I just love this doll. She's so pretty, just like me. She's also a vapid vegan hoe. Can I have it? I suppose you could if you can wake us <laughs> We're gonna play house. It'll be fun. Oh, Jesus Christ. Perfect. I'll see you over at the dollhouse, ex-husband. Oh, no. What are you doing here? It's not the weekend or Thanksgiving. I'm here for my daughter. I know you are, but I would be neglecting my duties as a mother if I let her go with a filthy boozer such as yourself. I'm clean now. Oh, really? You've been attending your meetings then? Let's see your 30-day pit. Oh, I brought the day. <laughs> you can get depressed teachers. Here you go, bit. Wow, I can't believe it. All the counseling and jail time really paid off. I suppose one afternoon with her. Oh my God, it worked. Just don't take her to any bars this time. Oh my God, I'm so glad I brought this. Out of the way, schlep. Smart kid coming through. 
Here you go. I missed her so much. Th thank you. This means the world to me. I'm assuming this will like blow up the school or something, and that's why she wasn't allowed to have it. You know, I haven't actually told anyone that you had contraband on you. I think that's fair. You really did make me happy to, hey, what's this? There's some kind of thing sticking out of her back. It looks like some kind of old computer disk. Well, I don't need it. You can have it. Did she tell you where she put our stuff? I don't know. I got this floppy disk from like 1987. All right, Bugs is gonna go cause an incident, so that'll get the principal's attention, even though technically there's a child with one arm spraying blood all over the floor. One more thing after you get the file print and see about unlocking the back door. I have a feeling we'll need to get back up there. Okay. Oh yeah, you think this room is pink, but it's not. This is just old stained child blood. What the hell happened here? Are these like intestines on this lady's head? <laughs> The children have gone mad. Why are you covered in condiments? Oh, it's a food fight. All right, I guess it's pretty bad. The very first thing I thought about was this was the body parts of all the children. It's a, a, a food fight. Oh no, I do apologize, but we'll have to pick this up later. Please don't do anything while I'm gone. This will only take him. Oh, please take your time, lady. This is the principal's computer. What? It looked like a typewriter, whatever. I wonder what it says. The only problem is we can't read. The only person who can, I think, is Monty. Yoink. I almost forgot I left you in here. My mistake. I'm afraid our time is almost up. We'll have to try this again tomorrow. Oh, there won't be a tomorrow. There never is. Trust me, I know. <laughs> this place is a goddamn war zone. <laughs> I took notes on everyone who threw food. Study hall will be quite full today. <laughs> okay, snitch. <laughs> All right, Bugs, let's roll, buddy. So it's going to take until recess for Monty to decode this message. And by decode, I mean read. I assume it's just in English. And Bugs gives me a walkie-talkie. Where in your ass did you pull this walkie-talkie from? Penny is taking everything. <laughs> Anyone who's disobeyed our lovely principal shall report to study hall. So basically everyone. What did the document say? Well, Penny is an android of some sort. Okay, whatever. Yeah, it's pretty crazy. The technology is astounding. Seems like she was attacked by a bear or something. Pretty brutal stuff. She had a lot of stuff for place so she's like robocop there's four buttons on the on the remote control green summons her blue releases contraband yellow deactivates defenses and red fires her laser oh we're gonna be firing some laser i asked where the contraband is the schematics indicate that she has a strange compartment somewhere in her stomach i don't know if there is an ethical way to get it out hey mrs applegate your ability to supervise children blows later. Okay, this should be the door that's open. Sweet. Oh, Christ. No, dear, this isn't the study hall room. Oh, my mistake. Could you show me the right room? Of course, right this way. Well done, Bugs. You're the man. I've actually done this before. Time to go into the science room from the girls' bathroom. Whatever. All right, science class is now magnets class. All right, Penny. Prepare to get wrecked. Anyway, magnets have plenty of uses in science, such as removing bullets from furniture or pulling aircraft out of the sky. What? Now observe the power of magnets. That's strange. The magnet doesn't seem to be working. It looks like someone sabotaged my magnet. Oh, God. Time for a scavenger hunt. <laughs> Whoever finds that gear gets a prize or something. Okay, I, I'm sure. I like this. Can I talk to you for a second? I think I'm the one that took the gear. You think? What is it? Would you eat it? Is it in your freaking stomach? It's kind of a blur. I blacked out again or something. I think I put it into the blue locker. I don't really know the combination. Great. I'm gonna talk to this Carla girl. Apparently she's good at opening locks. We're approaching the locker. If you're not here already, stay put, okay? Why did it have to be this one? This is Penny's locker. We're all dead if we get caught trying to get in there. <laughs> Don't worry about that. Just pick the stupid lock. No deal, man. We're up in the ante if you want it on this locker. There's a special laser module that she uses to fry kids with. I want it, comprende? Fine, whatever. Oh, it's working. Something's wrong. Someone's trying to get into that locker. We're getting the gear remember what you can't go through my locker i need to protect myself i mean myself please don't get out of my way there she goes no leaving when there's science to be done am i the only person that just heard two gigantic laser blasts i'm going to look for the gear you whore Whoa! <laughs> He was so obsessed with his knife, he didn't account for the deadly laser. <laughs> oh, I got him an outfit. <laughs> as savvy as she was, it doesn't do much when a killer robot wants you dead. I should take something to remember her by. I got her outfit. 
I don't know what happened out here, man. It's just the lights went out and then they were dead. What's up with this new school, man? Something, yeah, no kidding. My locker is secured. I feel safe now. Back in the beginning of science class, I appreciate that to get new outfits, I have to get kids killed. I was wondering where this friggin' doll was. It's under this damn table. I need to protect my stuff. Why don't you go ahead and play with this doll? Yeah. Yes, I'll go play with my doll. Yeah, you go do that. Here's your stupid gear, fatso. You're lucky you're a girl. I will push you down the stairs. I got you your goddamn gear. Observe the power of magnets. Um, Dr. Danner, I don't feel so good. Oh, it's Thanos time. <gasps> oh! <laughs> oh no, I am so fired. <laughs> the eyes are derping different directions. Well, children, looks like this is the end of my tenure here. Stay at school. Don't do any drugs unless I gave them to you. Goodbye then. He's <laughs> dead back. What is this game? Uh, wow. It worked way more violently than I thought it would. I got this stuff. Let's get the hell out of here. Right behind you, buddy. We took the android out and got my knife back. Been a good day. Did he get his knife back? I guess her body was sitting on the ground and just her head got lifted off. So whatever. Here's that laser thing Carla wanted. I'll let you give it to her. She kind of scares me. All right. So that's what it was. It was a laser electrode. Sure it is, game. Time to use the laser beam. Oh, there's two that we unlock. Things that go boom and creature feature. All right, I guess we'll do this one first. Things that go boom. Start the mission by giving Carla the laser module. Hey, Carla, I got the laser. Do you want this? What the? No way. Where did you get that? How did you get this? Incredible. With this, I can finally. Oh, I can't wait. Kid, clear your schedule. We got a lot of work to do. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> you see, I'm pretty good about getting around this school. I've got key secret passages and I know how to tangle with Stevie, okay? One problem I've never been able to solve is getting a passage from the teacher's lounge to the janitor's closet. But I heard about the stuff that went on at your other school. Yeah, there was a lot of stuff that went on. I'm talking about little pocket bombs that listen to your conversations. I need one and you're gonna get it for me. You're friends with that crying kid over there, right? Oh, finally, we get to use Jerome. Well, you're good at me. Find him a tissue. Maybe you can cheer him up and he'll get you one of those devices. Where the hell can I get a tissue from? <laughs> Probably from someone who thinks she's a princess. Pigtails over there might fit the pill. That's eh, part of the shot. I never thought you would be useful. Oh, that's I remember how to get the tissue by by feeling like we felt bad by her burn comment. Here's a tissue, cry me a river. I got better things to do, ho. You look like you could use this sad child. Thanks, man. I can't believe they made me come to school today. I'm not gonna, t you know what, what's the difference? Do you know why we're at this school instead of the old one? You know what? No, go ahead and tell me, please. Something bad happened. They found my dad in some weird lab under his office. His head was missing. I think I remember doing that to your dad, so... You know what I have to do now then, right? Find a foster family. I have a mom, jeez. I have to take revenge. So he's thinking that Lily did this, and I'm like, she's not even here. And he's like, that's what you think. I know she's here. I can feel it. Will you help me find her, please? I need justice or whatever. I don't care. Her life is forfeit if I can get the mission done. Talk to Nugget. He was close to Billy and has a crush on Lily. Maybe he knows. Hi, Nugget. <laughs> I did see two kids sneak into the crawl space under the school. Could it be them? I know it's them because I had them killed by an alien. Hey, Nugget, it's your boy here, Uncle Sam, coming at you with a brand new screwdriver. Get your ass out of there. So this is Nugget, huh? It is. You seem like the only person who doesn't know Nugget. Yes, Nugget is Nugget. Who is Ponytail Girl? I'm Carla. Say, you wouldn't happen to have seen anyone down there, perhaps some kids in hoodies? Uh, Nugget is not supposed to say. Only those with the secret stuffed creature may know. Ah, ah, to the smart class, damn it. Here's the key to the door that will lead you to the handicap ramp. Man, this girl has everything. I guess I'll take the spray bottle today. All right, Carla, let's go commit some felonies. Hey, the boy's room is downstairs. He can go down, but you can't. Relax, man. The student handbook says I'm allowed to assist a new student with finding the bathroom. Oh, she's one of those. Oh, okay. I didn't know that. Thanks. My pleasure. Wow, that guy's dumb. But Stevie isn't. Once he sees us, he'll take me back upstairs. Then what? Oh, he's doing that. Use the key to get out before he comes back. You got it, Carla. Don't play dumb with me. Come on, let's take you back upstairs. You just got played, son. All right, down the grate. Here we are inside the land of the bodies. It's safe to come out. Those are gonna be your last words. Finally, I feel like we've been waiting in there for hours. I already know who you are, but 
go ahead and give me the introduction again. It's us. Lily and Billy. Jerome is after Lily. Oh, if I if I do that, doesn't that screw everything up? Nope, you do have to say it. Jerome is after Lily. Me? Oh, I guess he blames me for what happened to his dad. Yeah, we should have seen this coming, Billy. We can't risk it. I have to confront him. He has to know the truth about his father. It's such a serious plot line. Head back upstairs and tell Jerome to meet me in the girls' bathroom. Oh, there's a Monster Mon card in here. Hey, Stevie. Is my friend still in the- Unacceptable! <laughs> I'm giving you study all. You're not supposed to be down here. Come on, man. I'm just checking out my friend. He's fine. See, now get back upstairs before I send you to the principal's office. Okay, fine. Jeez. You've had long enough for your bathroom break. <laughs> Let's tell Cryberry be the good news. Did you find anything out about Lily? Yes, your arch rival's in the bathroom during lunch. So she is here. I knew it. I'm going to get her for what she did. Thanks, kid. I need to get upstairs to the bathroom. I got some extra burgers like you asked. What are they for? They're for not getting killed by the friggin' lunch lady. Oh, we're starting a food fight again. Got to change the lesson plan to robotics. Oh, it's going to be robotics today. Sure. Wow, that's all it took. I was like, want to start a food fight? He's like, yeah, I do. <laughs> I'm not starting a fight without proper ammunition. You want more food? Bring me more burgers and we'll kick this food fight off right. You got it, buddy. You can have mine. How many do you need now? One more should do it. Go get one. Let's get this show on the road, please. Let's do. Nugget does not wish to speak to Catch. Boom! It was a straight pass right through the end zone. Nugget does not like burgers. <laughs> Hey, Fadso, watch it. You almost hit me with that grease ball. Oh, my mistake. I'll make sure it hit you this time. Boo! <laughs> that was rude. Come on, weird kid. We don't have to put up with this. Let's give him a taste of his own medicine. Nugget had never considered throwing food back at the nasty bully. Nugget normally just poisons his enemy. Get him, Nugget. Was that a... Was that like a, a butterball turkey or was that a nugget? I don't want to get involved in your stupid food fight. <laughs> Unacceptable. This will not stand in my cavity. Too bad, ho. <laughs> she got triple penetrated with burgers. This is the stall Lily said she would be a knock on the stall. I totally thought it was the left one, but Mrs. Applegate's in there dropping an engine block into the toilet. Hello, Jerome. Lily, you, you killed my dad. And now I'm gonna do what he should have done. I'm gonna stop you and your crazy conspiracy thing. What is this? It's like a little tiny robot just sitting on the ground. Is this gonna kill someone? Jerome, wait. I can explain everything. Liar. I know where Billy, she's not lying. What? Of course she's lying. She's just trying to save herself. Jerome, did you ever stop to consider why your dad had explosives and why they blow up when you even mentioned my brother? Shut up. I'm sure there was a reason, Jerome, man. There's not a reason. It's because you're unstable. He knew you were after him. Yeah, because he kidnapped my brother and turned him into a monster that makes pills. That does sound pretty bad. You were there. You tell him. It's all true. It is true. Wait, you were there? You saw everything? She's telling the truth? Yes. Then my dad, he was, oh geez, I think I'm going to be sick. Does it show the vomiting or is he just going to cry? I'm sorry, Jerome. Thanks for helping me clear things up with him. Okay, we have a problem. That was quick. Penny is coming up the stairs. I think she knows where I am. We need to get out of here now. I I have to do it. I have to get us all killed. You all know that, right? Screw it. We're doing it. Okay, power's out. Oh, no, we're too late. Oh, <laughs> it was a triple. A triple kill. All right, unscrew the vent. Get the hell out of here so we don't get laser blasted. We should be safe here. She won't be looking for long. Oh, that's right. This needs to get changed to robotics. I don't remember if I changed it 100%, so I'm going to make sure to do that now. Hi. You're not going to shoot me in the face, are you? Explain yourself. We snuck in through the vent. Oh, that's rather clever. Not clever enough to avoid study hall, but still clever. That's cool. It avoids getting shot in the head. Look at all the bad children today. <laughs> my word, there are a lot of you. To make matters worse, I didn't get my coffee. No one move or talk. Just be quiet. We know what happens when you pick okay, so <laughs> good. So you're okay with parting with that little device of yours. Oh, I already did. I left it in the bathroom floor upstairs. God damn it. What about Danner? What about him? The guy didn't get his coffee today. He'll sleep like a baby until the bell rings. We're fine as long as we're back when he wakes up. This girl knows everything. We're looking for a little device that was left on the ground. Have you seen it? He he. Maybe I have. What's in it for me if I tell you? I don't know. What do you want? 
Well, the cafeteria needs some cleaning spray since you little hooligans tore it up and the toilet paper needs replacing in the boys room. Luckily we can do that because those are the prizes that you get for being smart. Finally, the monitor. What, do you ever go to class or what? You're supposed to be in study hall. Being out here is unacceptable. <laughs> I'm just delivering some cleaning sprays. Maybe you kids aren't all bad after all. Maybe I shouldn't have hit so many of you with my mop. That would have been nice. Well, you can leave me alone now. What about the device? The what? Oh yeah, the little doodad. I put it in the weapons closet. It's in my cleaning cart. Bobo left the door unlocked. Looks like he was tripping on something in there. <laughs> Oh Christ, pretty hard to breathe in here. Once I blow a hole in the wall, it'll air out nicely. Probably snap Bob out of his little trance. That'll be good. Let's get the device and get out of here. If we stay too long, we'll end up like him. Hold on, I gotta know. Uh, something smells funny. Uh, damn it, I've gotta do it. I've gotta find out what happens. Hurry up. Hold on, if I take one of these, I'm pretty sure I can get us killed. Yep, there we go. Oh, how come only I died? How about her? Welcome to science class. Today's lessons will be about robotics. That's odd, I thought it was plants. Anyway, robotics are a wonderful way to terrorize the tri-state area. In front of you is one of my favorite kinds of robot, the hydraulic press. Do we have any volunteers to stick their head under it? Anyone, please let me volunteer for this. Tell me I can interact with this. Oh God, you can? I can place something to be crushed right here. Place the device, don't place anything. Hold on, first let me talk to this girl. Okay, so, Monty can like deactivate the device, but he wants something. He wanted $20, which clearly we don't have. So the other thing he wants is, what do you say you drop a good word about me to her, meaning Carla, maybe set us up on a little date? <laughs> what? Well, you better try hard. Either that or you can give me 20 bucks. Hold on, I gotta crush this thing without deactivating it. I need to know. Push the button. Oh, nothing. <laughs> So, uh, you and Monty, he wants to be your boyfriend. Ugh, that crappy, you know what, fine, but I'm not happy about it, okay. Congratulations, you got a home run. She said, you hot nigga the dog, I can't wait. We'll, we'll be forced to be reckoned with. Oh yeah, this will just take a minute. Of course it will, though. Bam. Here we go. This is exactly what I need to finish the bomb. I can totally blow open that wall now. I like how this guy's just sitting here and he's like, hey, whatever, kids. Oh, this must be the precursor to the final showdown. What a day. Can't believe we were able to do this thing so quickly. You wanna know the cherry on top? I had enough parts to make two bombs. How sick is that? Since it uses Penny Tech, she won't recognize it as contraband, so have fun with that. I'm sure we'll be working together again soon. Okay, so the beholder head was actually a bomb. Great. I'm pretty sure I got a new record for kids getting killed too. Yay. Hey folks, hope you enjoyed this episode of Kindergarten 2. Until next time, stay foxy much love.